All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got two beauties here with me from Shirogorov Knives. I've got the 111 and the F3 here with me for a quick comparison review. But hey, don't forget to like the video and to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of content. So let's see what do we have here. We have two beauties. Uh, really, really uh, fantastic pieces, and uh, they are both uh, liner locks uh, from uh, Shirogorov Knives, uh, uh, Russian made, uh, similar in price. Actually, this is cheaper one because. Um, it's an older version, it's not the F3 and S, which is the latest iteration of this model here. And this is the um, uh, F, uh, uh, sorry, the 111 uh, uh, carbon fiber scales, of course. Uh, this guy is sporting a Vanax 37 super clean steel. And this guy is just sporting a CTS 40 CP steel. So, uh, older model, this usually uh, actually originally came with a G10 uh, set of orange scales. Uh, in fact, these are aftermarket scales from depth 13 nicely shredded carbon fiber with beautiful milling grooves going on um, titanium pivot collar on both side, sides uh, perfectly chamfered uh, great uh, fit absolutely uh, a stunning one so uh, di very different pieces of course uh, uh, the size, the shape, uh, uh, it's very different. The materials as well, the construction, of course, uh, but they are um, sharing, uh, of course, the same DNA, like Shirogorov DNA, uh, and the fact that these guys are liner locks. So, uh, in fact, you can see handle shape is pretty different uh, you have still like a main finger groove on both uh, um, but uh, uh, the construction also is very different because you've got only one pivot and one handle screw whereas here you have one uh, pivot and two handle screws um, uh, you turn it to the side you're gonna notice that the backspacer on the 111 is titanium almost full length con um, getting up to the sharpening choil with integrated lanyard hole jimping going on stone washed finish really really cool uh, the backspacer for the f3 in this case is um, a carbon fiber because it's matching the scales but originally also was like a g10 um, with the integrated lanyard hole a little bit more recessed if you see like the accessibility from a, a point of view it goes in favor to the um, 111 um, of course uh, you uh, have uh, liners on the uh, one side only on the lock side uh, for the 111 and you got two liners for the f3 so uh, scale uh, liner scale uh, liner and scale Right over here you just got a carbon fiber scale then you have the liner uh, which is um, um, it's full like it gets to uh, this point it's bolted down with this screw right over here but it's a little bit uh, uh, skeletonized on the inside to re reduce weight of course and it's not uh, occupying the full uh, width of the handle um, of course uh, uh, these two guys are uh, liner locks uh, they are running on bearings but this uh, be being like an older version it's running on single row bearings and you can uh, actually see the logo right up there uh, this guy is running on multi-row bearings and you can actually read it like right over here maybe you can read it right there mrbs so multi-row bearing system and the action is just uh, a little bit smoother than this guy i mean this guy also glides shut uh, really really cool this guy is just a little bit more um, drop shutty. Uh, also, like you've got, um, of course, uh, different uh, steel employed, uh, but um, you have a very similar plunge grind, uh, similar drop point shape. For the F3, you have, uh, uh, like I would say, 30% belly and straight edge up to the uh, sharpening choil you've got a full flat grind with the bear logo um, on stamped on this side and you've got the CTS 40 CP uh, writings on the back whereas on the uh, 111 you've also got the bear logo but in this case you have a nice fuller and a little bit of flat so it's not like technically full flat grind it's only flat grind uh, of course the fullers are on both sides inside of the fuller you can notice there's like a very very fine uh, kind of like eggshell finish and of course you've got the vanax 37 writing on this side as well 
if you check uh, the flipper tabs also uh, they are a little bit different uh, you can see the side of course uh, it's uh, a little bit different they are both great for push button or um, uh, light switch of course push button works and light switch fantastically uh, for both um, if you check on the other side you're gonna see uh, that uh, the construction is uh, with the screw showing for the pocket clip uh, the uh, both uh, pocket clips they are coming um, installed let's see I don't know if you can see like maybe like this on a, a little depression on the scale so to give you a little bit more clearance but uh, maybe here like this you can see actually like that that the uh, 111 has uh, much more clearance and the clip ramp is much longer so nicer than this guy it's a little bit shorter for the f3 in fact they just changed it uh, to a new style for the new model of the f3 which is much uh, uh, more improved than this one and just one screw which is like a custom screw like these and not uh, uh, i think this is like t8 uh, torx so something like uh, also to consider uh, this guy of course is sporting a couple of uh, um, pivot colors but because these are these are not uh, the original scale so the um, stock scales they come with a g10 color uh, blue which is uh, cool and uh, the orange scales are also really really cool um, also you notice that there's no jimping going on on the blade the stock thickness is the same of course the length of the blade it's going to be different uh, the weight also is going to be different uh, because uh, um, this guy is 4.9 ounces on the carbon fiber and this is five ounces so which is outstanding i mean this is basically the same weight of this one just a little bit less but look at the size i mean this is truly impressive like keeping this guy down under five like around four ounces and uh, i mean same weight as this one it's um yeah it's a it's a it's a really cool thing uh also what is going to be different is going to be the sound the 111 whips out like crazy whereas this f3 it's a little bit subtler oh guys like a 111 is crazy beautiful sound also f3 sound is really cool but it's not as powerful and strong as the 111 also ergonomically speaking they are both fantastic there's no hot spots uh, personally i find the 111 to be crazy good in the hand it's a huge uh, knife it's really really big but in the hand it's uh, it's just fantastic it feels absolutely great um, no hot spots uh, uh, fit and finish is just spectacular guys there's nothing uh, really nothing wrong uh, in any of these two it's gonna be a matter of uh, preference of look and uh, and size mostly because the weight is the same price is very very similar if you get uh, the newest version which is gonna be m390 as well and carbon fiber so uh, you can't go wrong with any of these two guys so there you have it hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay tuned